Welcome back to the Try Again Retrospective. Here we will pick up where we left off last time and talk about Meryl Strife, a partner of Millie Thompson. Like Millie, Meryl initially seems like a relatively simple character, which over time evolves and begins to show more complexity. While initially seeming to simply be a slightly pushy insurance agent, Meryl evolved from a woman struggling to emote and express her emotions to one which can do so healthily and is in touch with them. And her actions to do so show the importance of emotional self-expression and the growing pains associated with it. But before we get into all this, who is Meryl Strife? Meryl Strife, aka Derringer Merrill, is an agent of the Bernadelli Insurance Society, and one tasked with tracking down and monitoring Vash the Stampede, along with her partner, Millie Thompson. They are tasked to do so in order to limit the damage that he causes to any settlements he visits in his travels across Gunsmoke. She is present from episode 1 and remains a constant throughout, going alongside Vash and Millie through their many adventures. While she initially doubts Vash is who he says he is, she later accepts it after witnessing his legendary skill across several episodes. While initially viewing him as something of a nuisance or loser, she slowly moves on to appreciate his simple and pleasant charm. She warms up to him and eventually falls in love with him, and this in turn causes her to be devastated when she's pulled off of following him. She's devastated she never got to express herself to him and her feelings for him. While she initially feigns happiness about this, she fools no one and is obviously quite happy when she is told to go back on the case and track Vash down again. Now realizing she has another chance to express herself to him, she starts to act a little irrational, and her judgment is uh, a bit impacted, though uh, Millie goes on to become a great emotional anchor for her and supports her through this tough time. This in turn initiates a dynamic shift of sorts as Millie goes from the supporting partner to the decisive one as she walks Meryl through several important life decisions and snaps her out of various stupors. She makes sure that Meryl keeps going. Meryl now starts to rely on Millie for emotional guidance, and upon reuniting with Vash, she is much warmer towards him, and even cares for him when he is quite injured. At the end of episode 25, it is she who inspires Vash to go back to his ideals and not give up on his quest for love and peace. She does this when she impulsively intervenes on his behalf and cites his own words and arguments to an angry mob which is after him. Finally, as the series concludes and Vash heads out to confront Knives, Meryl waits to say goodbye to him, and though failing to confess her feelings to him, it is implied that she will do so once he returns, as Millie assures her that it is okay because she will be able to when he returns. With all of this in mind, we can now look at how Meryl and her character impacts and growth progress in the series, and what this in turn teaches us. At the beginning of the series, Meryl is the headstrong and cool leader of her group, that being her and Millie. She's obviously intelligent and takes it upon herself to make decisions and guide the mission as logically as possible. While never rude, she's not necessarily the warmest person either, and initially tends to trust her own judgment more than others. This is not necessarily out of any arrogance, but instead a headstrong and stubborn nature which lingers for better or worse. On one hand, this motivates her and proves to be a great source of resilience when she knows what she's working towards and has a clear objective in mind. On the other hand, should the objective be a little vague or she gets too emotional, it can lead to impulsive and irrational behavior as seen later on in the series. This headstrong nature is one of her defining traits in fact. And while Meryl may fall into the trope of a headstrong woman, it is, it is handled quite well and is never written in a grating or bad way. Like Millie, her character is never obnoxious and quite well written. In fact, like Millie, Meryl also seems to have a good amount of self-awareness, though they just handle their emotions differently. While Millie is very honest with her feelings, Meryl instead usually tries to either rationalize or ignore her own feelings. While this is probably born out of her rational, intelligent nature, this in and of itself is not a rational decision. As mentioned previously, while Millie is very resilient because of how honestly she processes her feelings, Meryl's emotional repression causes her to ignore her feelings and even break down from time to time. She breaks down because she didn't express her emotions enough and these tend to bottle up until the breaking point, and they can get to that point because she didn't express them enough. This would also explain her stubborn nature. She can be stubborn because she needs to be right in order to justify ignoring her feelings. Therefore, if she isn't right, her emotional stress may grow even more and cause further rejection of how she feels. In fact, one of the most important things Millie teaches Meryl is to accept and be honest about her emotions. For while to Meryl, emotions may initially seem like variables which impact the mission, she learns that they are in fact a vital and normal human function, and she learns this from both Millie and Vash. That is not to say that Meryl is a robot at the beginning of the series, but merely that her experiences with both Millie and Vash teach her to be more in touch with how she feels. Her insecurities and her struggles to overcome them, as well as the help she receives from others to do so, humanize her. It shows the audience that while many people may process many emotions very differently, everyone has emotions, and a degree of self-expression is very important. As a result, while Meryl becomes more insecure and irrational as the series progresses, this is actually a sign of growth in her case. She's not growing insecure and impulsive because she's falling apart, but instead because she's trying something completely new and something she's never really seemed to do before. That is to warm up and accept others and her own feelings. Note how by the end of the series, Meryl is a much warmer character. 
Note how she admits air more readily. Note her new respect and appreciation of those around her. These are all signs of positive character growth. Her emotional struggles impulse and impulsive actions are not signs of a person in decline, but merely growing pains that any repressed person goes through when finally deciding to accept how they feel and express them healthily. This sparks a debate on how to live life, on whether to express oneself freely or try to process everything completely rationally. On one hand, there is the rational Merrill, a person driven by their objective focus, that while having emotions, seems to put the objective first and is not in very in touch with how they feel. On the other hand is the emotional Vash, a person who, while serious when needed, is very open about how he feels, and always expresses himself, acting impulsively, but only when he feels like it is the right thing to do. While Merrill initially seems to be the correct one, with Vash being the butt of many jokes and making many illogical decisions, as the stakes raise, it is obvious that Vash has taken the right approach. While his approach is not perfect, as he does tend to run away from his problems, he does not run away from how he feels, and as a result is usually more in touch with himself and therefore more grounded. Meanwhile, Meryl's cold approach to things sees initial success until the rigors of life catch up to her, and she finds herself crying over a man she claimed to loathe. She finds herself stalling, trying to rationalize and deny negative feelings instead of expressing them and letting them push her to take more action. It is only after Millie and Vash help her to realize and connect with her emotions that she begins to live a more fulfilling life, as her emotions go from afterthoughts or dead weight to natural expressions and driving forces. This in turn proves that Vash was right. While in the beginning of the series it may seem that the rational and cool Meryl was the correct one on how to live life, the fact that Vash, the man she used to belittle, the man she used to see as a nuisance, a man she once disliked and loathed, is able to overcome his struggles, with help of course, and remain more true to himself proves that he was actually right. His ability to express himself and be comfortable with himself gives him greater internal strength, and this in turn allows him to get through more things. Meryl's denial, on the other hand, weakens her, as it means she has to ex exude more energy simply on holding herself together, in addition to whatever energy she may need to get over the rigors of life. It shows that self-expression is a critical aspect of life, and there's nothing wrong with being in touch with how one feels. Meryl's evolution, therefore, serves to both prove the importance of emotional awareness and self-expression, and this is something that she learns from both Vash and Millie. This, in turn, has Meryl teach the audience all these things, as we see her evolve from a person distant from both the world and herself, to a person expressing herself, and the beauty of life itself.